But this next bit, mate, is just a bit of fun, really. Um, oh, no. Yes. Introverts hate fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just generally going to give people an insight into who you are a little bit more as a, oh, a trainer God. and a coach. Okay. So we're going to play this or that. This or that. Okay. This or that. Dead simple. I'll give you two things you have to pick and you have to go with... Um, your gut instinct. Okay. Try not to think about it. Yeah, Gut's okay, gonna say. Okay. So I'll give you an example. If I went cats or dogs, pick one. Would cats. you? Oh, you, you took too long then. But to just think. because. Uh, no, I was, Poor dogs. How can you not like we've dogs? We've got both. Oh, oh. So Ali, Alex has got dogs that live with her ex, and we've got a cat who lives with us. I was like, oh no, which one do I choose? So when the dogs hear so this the, back, the, cat, the cat's living at home. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll choose the cat. <laughs> I can't believe when the dogs hear this bat, they're yeah, going to be yeah. like, yeah. looking at you like, you pick, yeah, you pick that feeling. I don't blame them. They're going to have a right go at me. Call me every name. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be this or that. And obviously, I don't want you to overthink it. It's just gut feeling. Okay, go with okay, it. Okay, well, come Next on, one. Pass. Tea or coffee? Coffee. It, it, this one's easy. Introvert or extrovert? Introvert. <laughs> Beach or poolside? Beach. Sweet snack or savoury snack? Sweet. Always gone for sweet. That's hard. Deadlift or squat? Squat. Protein or carb? Protein. Ooh. Dumbbell or barbell? Barbell. Morning or evening workouts? Ooh, morning. Always gone for morning. Yeah. Pre-workout snack or post-workout meal? Post-workout meal. Active rest or complete rest day? Active rest. <laughs> Shake weight or fine master? <laughs> what? You know the shaky weight. Oh, shaky weight. Shaky weight uh, on the fire master. I want to. I want to do shaky weight and look at you in the eyes. Of <laughs> <laughs> CrossFit beard or yoga man bun? Well, I'm, I'm hoping CrossFit beard. <laughs> yes, he's got the beard. The beard rocking out. Leg day or arm day? Or oh, leg day. Burpees or running? Running. Okay. I enjoy a run. I enjoy one as well. So we're going to go back over some of them and just kind of try and delve into your thinking of... I'll, I'll probably how, forget what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you retract it. Like, I've changed my mind. Yeah, yeah. I've changed my it's mind. It's dogs, it's dogs. <laughs> so let's go back to your active versus complete rest day. What, what yeah. kind of led you to that? Um, I think I, d I do something most days. So, for example, I, I do three strength sessions a, a week. Um and I, I probably wouldn't do anything else other than that. In that, you know, I wouldn't like train in the morning and then go. I don't know if I have a massive long walk in the in the evening unless I'd somehow plan that. Um, but in between that, I do. I, I get like I said earlier. I get out on my bike now, so I get I've got a mountain bike. I go up the hills, down the hills, a bit of road, a bit of forest. So, and I wouldn't class that as so much as like a heavy workout. It's more. I'd say that as, as active to me, anyways, being active. Um, so that's kind of why I chose it. I think I'm, I'm more, I'd say five or six days of the week, I'm doing something. Yeah. I do have one complete rest day. Normally Sunday, sometimes Saturday. So two, like I say, it depends what, what crops up, but yeah, I always do, I always do something a little active in between my, my main strength workouts. See, I've got, I, I very much lean towards active rest days. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to do nothing. Yes. Sometimes. And my thinking around it, when people get DOMS, the way to find out for me if you it's really DOMS is go and do some light exercise. Yeah. That means just low, really low intense tear. Yeah. Easy to do. Yeah, yeah. It should get easier, less painful. Yeah. If it doesn't, you've hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. And you probably need a, a bit of yeah. proper time off. Can get some magnesium. Now, for me, to have a complete rest day doesn't fully make sense in my head the way yeah. I see recovery. Because let's go back to your point three on the top tip sleep yeah when do we really recover in our sleep yeah exactly, so if yeah. you really want a complete rest your focus should be like helping yourself kind of sleep well yeah. and I, I find i sleep better as well after that's my that point you, yeah that that's you, my point where i'm getting to yeah, it's like, you know yeah. if i just go i know let's say i did I want, I'm out of an active rest day and i'm going to do 15 minutes on a bike just low level get my yeah, heart rate yeah, up a little yeah, bit i get need. off Right, I'm just going to bike and stretch. 30 minutes, bike and stretch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sleep better because I've just done a little bit. Yeah. And then weirdly, that recovery, opposed to me just, I'm going to say, sit on my butt all day. Yeah. I really don't think that helps me. Yeah, I'm too much of a fidget anyway. Yeah, think, but... yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, I totally agree. Active rest for me. Active yeah, rest I, think for so. I think so. Yeah, for me. Uh... So morning versus evening workouts. Yeah, did I, I said I said morning, didn't I? I think, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I, you did. I did. Yeah. Um, but I get 
it, it took a, it, I, I think I paused on that one as well because it's if I if I had to choose if I've got no choice I'll, I'll do any if yep, I've got no yep. choice if I've got a choice I'd, I think I'd rather wake up I think I, I need I need to motivate myself more in the evening um, but in the morning I'm, I'm a bit more robotic I'll get up and I'll just do um, and that, that that's the only reason I can't think of any, there's no other benefit to doing it in the morning they're like oh do you burn more calories in the morning no nothing like that I don't care about any of that I just it's what motivates me the most. What, which one am I going to feel I can do better or I can do easier? And it's the morning. I can get up and I can train. I've got a feeling that morning trainers versus evening trainers is sometimes dependent on lifestyle factors like yeah. food and sleep. I mean, I'm again. actually an afternoon trainer, if yeah. I'm honest. I, I, I train about one o'clock ev- every day. Because it's yeah. like, why do I like evenings? It's generally because I've had a day where I can feel right. I've had my breakfast, I've had yeah, lunch, yeah. And, you know, I've sorted myself out, I've woke up, whatever you are. And then when I apply myself, I can apply myself really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, on the flip side, you know, why do I like mornings is because... I can flip that around. I can yeah. train, and then I've got all day to my, get my protein and yeah. make sure I'm hydrated and recover. So for me, it's like go back to what you said. When, when can you get in and train and just make yeah. the best out of whether it is be morning or evening? Members say exactly the same. They'll say, "I like to train early to get it out of the way." And yes. I guess we're no different. You know yeah. what I mean? We're, no, we're yeah. no different. Get it out of the way, and I've, I've kind of a thing ticked off already. Sort yeah. of thing. So yeah. Well, if you want to hear from me. You could always look forward to it rather than get out of the way. Just saying. Look <laughs> yeah, forward yeah. to it. Yeah, look yeah. Look forward to oh, it. Uh, let's have a look at why deadlift or squat. You went squat, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love deadlift as well. And it's I very, love a deadlift. It's a very, yeah, it's a very functional movement. I think the only reason I chose squat is that the only movement I've ever injured myself on is deadlift. Okay. Just back, you know. Um, and that's the only reason I chose it. So... Uh, out of the two, I think which one do you fear the most? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, and I guess it would be would be deadlift. But I still really enjoy it, um, and, I've, and I'm I'm a little bit more. I kind of take it beyond that and I go rather than just doing your conventional deadlift. I'm more of a a clean person as well. So I like to do heavy cleans. Yes. So the mechanics are essentially the same. The same. You've got, just in that you've got the initial pull, uh, but I'm just taking that a little bit f- further and racking it there on the shoulders. Um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of, I've, I don't really do heavy, heavy deadlifts anymore. Um, it's more, I try and go heavier on the cleans instead. Yeah. Like I say, mechanically it's kind of starts off the same. Um, and then it has that element of a little bit more of a technique after that. So we've got the speed element, you, yeah. which is great for, we'll just say the athleticism. Exactly really that. Get that, exactly that. I mean, for me, I think it depends on what day. You ask me that question. Some days I'm a I'm a deadlift man. Some days I'm a squat man. Deadlift, I just like the fact that you can play around with numbers. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You can vary your stance. You can just, you know that, I can, I'm going to lift some weight. And feel yeah, great yeah, about yeah. It. Where for me, you know, a good amount of kind of squat weight, bit of a back, uh, back squat just brings that challenge. It's always, yeah. I never find back squatting easier. I've never had like where hmm, I've got to mm. I've got to focus and push I every really time do I back it. squat. Yeah, I really do. It's always fun for me. Um, just, just where where it places the load, yeah. it just works with me better. I went through a phase a few years ago where I had like a, a, a niggly hip injury that just wouldn't go. Um, and the only squat I could do where I didn't feel anything was front, and I just kind of kept with it. And it kind of coincides nicely with what I do with cleans and stuff like that as well, with the with the racking position with the arms. So yeah, front squats my go to squat. And, and, I, and I kind of occasionally put back in there just so I don't <laughs> seize up, you know, because you do, don't you? You, you do. If, if you don't, if you don't you do back squat, right there, you, you, you don't get that flexibility in your shoulders anymore because you're not, you're not doing it. Your body adapts to obviously here. Yep. And so open it out, get I, that yeah, rotation. Otherwise it, you end up just necking the bar, which yeah, is never, yeah. just never comfortable. And before you know it, I've got a pad on the bar. Oh, so. no. Yeah. <laughs> No. Awful, awful. Don't do it. Never put a pad on That's when you're your back squatting. Yes, <laughs> build up your traps. So I hope you found that a bit more interesting. You found out a bit more about Baz Wakelin and the fact that he will shake a weight rather than fine master it. <laughs> interesting.